Hi and welcome to the screencast about Aurelia. So about a week ago I wrote a to-do application with AngularJS 2 and I got an interesting comment that I should take a look at Aurelia. So for this screencast I'm gonna port the AngularJS 2 app I wrote uh, last time to Aurelia instead. So a quick recap uh, the application that we wrote is uh, very straightforward. You can add do's, you can check, and you can delete them. Right, so no, no validation or nothing. Uh, a very simple app. But uh, written with AngularJS 2, uh, nevertheless. So, uh, if you want to learn more about Aurelia, you can uh, visit their, their uh, homepage at aurelia.io and you have a good get started guide. I actually just watched a Pluralsight course. Uh, so, Aurelia uses something called JSPM, which is a package manager for System.js built on top of the dynamic uh, ES6 module loader. So, uh, to to uh, begin using Aurelia, we're going to need to initialize JSPM. Uh, so you can get JSPM uh, with the Node Package Manager and make sure you install it globally. I have already done so, so I can just go ahead and init JSPM into my workspace. And we're going to need to answer a couple of questions like where to put uh, the packages JSON file and what's the base URL and where to put the packages that it downloads. And I'm going to use Tracer for runtime transpiler. And once this is set up, uh, we can JSPM install the Aurelia framework. We're also going to get the Aurelia Bootstrapper. So Aurelia is really modular and you can just pick the bits and pieces that, sh that you're going to need for your app. Alright, so we can now see that we have a JSPM packages folder that's uh, managing our dependencies for us. Uh, it gets all the nested dependencies and uh, config.js, you don't really actually need to worry about this file for now. Maybe we'll address this in uh, another screencast. But we're going to need to make some changes here to load Aurelia instead. Uh, we're going to remove the topmost custom elements. So we're still going to use, still going to want to get need to get the system.js library, but we're gonna load it from the, the JSPM packages folder. We're also gonna include config.js. And instead of passing app to our system import uh, method, uh, we're gonna pass Aurelia Bootstrapper since we really want Aurelia to take control of our application and handle browser history and navigation and links. Uh, and for Aurelia to hook into this, we're also gonna need to add a custom directive here called Aurelia App. So this looks pretty familiar if you've written in the AngularJS 1 code. And let's start by looking at the changes we need to do in our app.html. So first of all, uh, Aurelia, Bootstra uh, Aurelia is all about uh, convention over configuration and code. So uh, what this will exp what this will do, uh, this will go ahead and load a view model called app. Uh, we'll look for app.js 
and app.js uh, will need to have an app.html. So fortunately, we already have this uh, this setup here, so we don't need to do anything here. Uh, here we're gonna need to tell Arela that this is a template, and the first difference here is how we uh, for uh, repeat for. <laughs> so in Aurelia we just r write repeat dot four. We remove the remove the uh, the hashtag there. And something that I like better in Aurelia actually is that it supports two way bindings. So uh, so this is pretty ugly here that we one way bind to do completed and then we listen for the click event uh, to set it. Uh, so we can't name inputs here, but we can actually bind to the to completed instead of having a one-way binding there. So this is is in my opinion a lot cleaner. And to do string expression evaluations, we use this syntax instead. So potato potato doesn't really matter for me. And we want we really want to uh, we want to hook up hook into the click event. We do so by writing click dot trigger or or click dot delegate. So the difference is that uh, between delegate and click and trigger is that if this element would contain other elements, delegate would catch click the click event on all this all the child components in here as well. But since we only have one <laughs> one element here, uh, we can safely just use trigger instead. Um, and then here uh, we are listening for a key up event. So this do this in a similar manner, but we just use trigger instead. And uh, they have the same syntax here, dollar sign event to get the event source for which event it actually was. But once again, we can't name our input fields here. So here we're gonna need to bind to the value to field uh, that we have on our view model. So we can call this new, new to do text. And here, once again, we can either use a click dot trigger or click dot delegate. And we haven't referenced the input uh, field uh, naming to do text here, so we can't use this. But we know that new to do text will, will be available on our on our view model, so we don't actually need to pass in anything here. And ng if simply becomes if dot bind click dot trigger for complete all. all right so this should be all the changes that we need to do in app.html so let's come and look in app.ts so we can remove this line is angry specific so we're gonna go ahead and import from Aurelia framework instead. Right, misspelled it. We can remove these decorators, which are angle specific. And we can remove this set completed method since we have two way two way bi uh, binded to the completed property of the to do item, which we can, which is this property right here. And when we do complete all, we can just go ahead and set completed to true on it each element and we can remove the bootstrap method uh, call at the bottom so one thing we did need to introduce was a field called new to do text let's 
going to be a string. So we won't be passing in anything to this method. We won't have the target on the event source here. So we have our property new to do text. And we can reset this punct dot new to do text. Alright, so what I've done so far is in my opinion almost only removed code uh, except for except for introducing this property on the view model all right so let's see if this works refresh the page right so i written aurelia boost strapper which seems a bit wrong, Aurelia Bootstrapper. Let's see if it works better this time. So it does a lot of requests. For some reason, I got an error. No view, mo new, no view model found in module app. Right, so uh, we have app.ts and our app.js. I don't know if we need to export this class. So it doesn't need to be named component either, but that shouldn't really matter. So Aurelia will expect a file called app.js to be loaded. Uh, so let's see if this works. All right, so that did it. And uh, we can press enter to add items, we can click on the add to do, we can complete them all, we can still the error, right so we missed the thing, remove to do is not a function and that's because we're gonna need to access from, let's see here, an app.html, you're gonna need to access it by, from this code by calling parent.remove to do. See if this works better, and now we can remove items as well. Right, so that was a pretty quick port. Uh, so this is a very simple application. We don't have validation, and uh, we also don't have routing. Uh, but uh, I'm thinking for next for the next screen cost, we're gonna add validation, and uh, also maybe introduce some delays and show a spinner. Uh, because Aurelia really uh, makes uh, makes uh, stuff like that simple to implement. So uh, uh, until next time, have a nice day, and uh, I hope you enjoy the screencast.